welcome back to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style Crochet. My name is Jane and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this crochet granny stitch beret. Really simple but really effective and a nice stylish piece to wear with your, your outfits. I've made this one that matches my granny uh, cape that I've made and I'm going to do a tutorial for that but I've made it to match the granny cape so it makes the set so I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your beret and the different effects you can get by just changing the yarns so if you'd like to join me please grab um, some yarn and some hooks and we can crochet together so I'll see you in a moment so in this tutorial we're going to be making the granny stitch beret and I've got two samples here one is I've used um, lots of different shades for this one which which matches the granny um, stitch cape that I've made in a previous video uh, so there's an option where you can change the colours just to give you an idea then I've also made one in a single colour just gives you how an idea of how it looks in just using the one yarn I've just literally finished this last night so I haven't managed to sew in the ends yet but you get the idea. So for the tutorial I thought I'll go even one better and we're going to use a variegated yarn to see how that pans out. So at least you can see what it looks like in one yarn, lots of alternating yarns or a variegated yarn. And this is King Cole Riot, in, again double knit. And the shade of this one is Autumn. And this 100 gram ball has approximately 324 yards. We're going to be needing a 4 millimeter hook and a 3.5 millimeter hook. You'll need some scissors and a tape measure. So let's begin. So to begin with we're going to be using our 4mm hook and we're going to start off with a magic circle I'm just going to make a magic circle like so. If you're not familiar with how to do a magic circle I do have a video to show you how to do it. So we're going to chain 3 in total and that's going to class as our first treble. I am doing this video in UK terms, so if you're watching from the US, uh, the treble will be a double crochet. So we need to now um, work another 11 trebles into that magic ring. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. There's one. So we just need to work 11 more so we've got 12 in total including that chain 3 we did at the beginning. Eleven. If you just pull the tail there to tighten up that ring and we're just going to insert our hook into the top of the 3 chain and slip stitch to close that first round. So yarn over, pull through and pull through and that is your first round. So now we're going to go on to round two and we're going to chain three again. One, two, three and this will count as our first treble and into the same space where we've just done our chain three, we insert our hook and do another treble. And then into the next, we're going to do two trebles. So one, and into the same space, two. And again into the next, we're going to do two trebles. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. Two trebles in every stitch. Which will then take us to 24 stitches. 
and you just need to then insert your hook into the top of the three chain that we started the round with and a slip stitch to close. So that's round two. So you should have 24 stitches in this round. So if you just want to double check, cut all the way around that you've got the 24. So round three, chain three, and that classes our first treble. And into that same stitch we're going to insert our hook and do another treble. And then into the very next stitch we're going to do work one treble. Then into the next stitch we're going to work two trebles. And we're going to continue all the way around like so. Working one treble, two treble, one treble, two treble. So if you want to work all the way around, and I shall see you somewhere around about here, and you should have 36 stitches in total when you get to the end of this row. So hopefully you've got around here okay, so I've just got a couple more stitches to do. So I've just done one in that one, so I'm just going to do two trebles in the next one. Finishing with one treble in the last stitch. And we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that three chain that we did at the beginning. That is round three. So we're going to move on to round four now. So we're going to chain three again and we're going to into the same spaces where we've done those the chain three. We're going to do two more trebles. One and two. And we're going to skip two. So one, two, insert our hook into the next and work three trebles. So skip two, one, two, insert your hook into the next and work three trebles and this is where we're going to start our granny stitch. This is our granny stitch round which we'll be following throughout the rest of the beret now. So we're going to skip two again, one, two and insert our hook and do three trebles. One, two, three, skip two Insert our hook into the third stitch and three trebles. And we're going to work all the way around like this. Three trebles, skip two. Three trebles, skip two, three trebles, skip two, all the way around. So if you want to work all the way around, and I shall see you somewhere around about here, and we'll finish off this row. So I'm just doing the last set of three trebles I'm just going to skip two and insert our hook in the top of that three chain and that's our fourth round so the next round we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to work in the space now between the trebles. Let's insert our hook and work two more trebles. One, two, and chain one, and reinsert our hook and work another three trebles. Three, and we're going to work down into the next space and work one set of three trebles. So one, two, three. Then into the next space, we're going to do three trebles, chain one, three trebles. So insert your hook and work three trebles. Chain one and three more trebles
then three trebles into the next space. And then into the next, it's three trebles, chain one, three trebles, and we're going to repeat this all the way around. So we should have, when we get to this end, we should have six of these uh, three treble chain one, three treble sections in total. So if you want to work your way around, so work in three trebles, chain one, three trebles, then three trebles, three trebles, chain one, three trebles, and three trebles all the way around. And I shall see you somewhere around about here to join this round. So I've just finished the last set of three trebles there. So we're just going to slip stitch to the top of our three chain that we did at the beginning. So if you just find the top of that three chain and just slip stitch closed. So you should have six of these points, I suppose you call it, of the three trebles, chain one, three trebles. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Now this is going to form the top, the crown of the beret. So it's now going to go to expand out in every round now until we get to a certain uh, measurement. So you should have those six points now. So for every round now, we're going to basically follow the same uh, pattern. So we're going to chain three to start and that always classes our first treble and into that space below, insert your hook and work two more trebles. And into the space between the two say clusters there of the trebles, we're going to always work our two exact same. So it's going to be in that space there, we're always going to work three trebles, chain one, three trebles in those points. So and all those six points, that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. So we'll just go into that space there and work three trebles. chain one and three more trebles. So we're going to do that all the way around in those six points. And the spaces in between those points, we're just going to work three trebles. So every round, the spaces will increase as the berry gets larger. So this round, we've got two spaces. So we'll work into both those spaces with the three trebles. And obviously we've come to our point there, or corner point, and we're going to work three trebles, chain one, three trebles into that space. So chain one, and back down, and work three more trebles. One, two and three and then into the next spaces along we're going to just work the three trebles I'm loving how this wall is changing colour so it is so autumn colours are gorgeous so into the next one, we're going to work another three trebles. And we've come to our point again, so we're going to work three trebles, chain one, three trebles. So we're going to work all the way around, like so, so three three trebles, three trebles, then our point, which is three trebles, chain one, three trebles, three trebles, three trebles, then our point again. So we're going to work all the way around. We'll come to this point and we'll come to this point here and we'll slip stitch to the top of the chain three and we'll continue around it exactly the same for all the next round. And obviously you're going to, these sections in between the points are going to get bigger and bigger as the crown of the beret gets bigger and just show you in this example so you can see 
the pot corner points here and obviously the ones in between you're going to have more of as the beret gets bigger so basically you're going to continue with the six points all the way around and we're going to work like this in the same way for a total of 11 rounds so we need to complete round 11 so we're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so keep going until you've completed round 11 so we're going to complete work all the way around all the way around and I shall see you when we're nearly finished round 11 So just about to the end of row 11, so if you're not quite sure how many rows you've done, all you need to do is start from the middle and count in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we need to complete row 11, so I've got a couple more trebles to go. And just need to slip stitch to the top of that chain three. And that completes row 11. Loving how these colours are working so far. Really gorgeous, rustic, autumnal colours. Love it. So now we're going to move on to round 12. And this round, we're just going to work our three chain and two more trebles into that first space like we have done previously so we've done three chain and two trebles for our first cluster and we're going to work all the way around this row with just the three trebles in every space and that includes the six points so we're just going to work all the way around. i hope you can hear me over at toffee's purring So just three trebles in every space. So just work your way around. And this is the row that's going to, this is that we're no longer going to be increasing anymore. So this is our first decrease row, I suppose you could call it. So we've come to that first point and we're just going to do our three trebles in there. And move on to the next space. So kind of finishing those points now. We won't be having those six points anymore because we're now going to be working our way into the underside of the beret. So we've worked all the 11 rows, we're on to row 12. So we're then going to be then working on the underside of the beret, like the say brims, I suppose. So we no longer need to increase, so we're going to lose those six points and work our way to the underside like so. So you just want to work your way all the way around, working three trebles in every space. I shall see you somewhere around about here where we're going to slip stitch close. So I'm just working this last row row 12 I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that chain 3 that we made at the beginning again right so from now on for rows 13 right the way through to row 18 we're going to change our hook and we're going to decrease our hook size down to 3.5. I did experiment with different hook sizes to get this, 
the shaping here and we're going to work in so six rows now using the 3.5 hook and we're just going to work exactly the same as row 12 so three chain two trebles in the first space and then just three trebles in every space we no longer have those six points to worry about so it's just three trebles in every space for the next six rows and by using this smaller hook size it's now going to bring the beret the sides or the brim of the beret turn this over to show you eventually those points they're going to start standing up like so to form the like rim of the beret so I'll just show you they're going to start to up and no longer increase so this is the section we're going to be working on this section here so if you want to continue on working three trebles in every space three trebles only in every space slip stitch into the top of chain three then repeat those rows so six more rows in total and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 18 and then we'll show you then how to continue on to finish off the beret so if you want to pause the video and work six more rows using the 3.5 millimeter hook with three trebles in every space around and I shall see you near the end of row 18 just come almost to the end of row 18 so I'm just going to finish off with a few more trebles like so and we're just going to slip stitch again to the top of our chain three that we did at the beginning and you work you should find that it's formed like a curved shape now so basically those rows that we worked on the 3.5 millimeter hook has created or work to stand up just how we need it for the beret so this now completes the main part of the beret and the next few rows we're now going to um, work some decreases and then finish off with like the ribbed edging so for the next round so this is going to be round 19 we're going to chain three and insert our hook and work a treble and then into the next space we're going to work two trebles so we're just going to slightly decrease now on this next round and the following round and follow with two more trebles into the next space and we're going to work all the way around working two trebles only into our spaces so just working two trebles we just need to draw the berry in a little bit more for the shaping so if you want to pause the video and work all the way around like so working two trebles into every space and I shall see you somewhere round about here and then we'll go from there on to row 20 so just got a couple more to go so two trebles and then slip stitch into the top of that train three like before close that round so the next round 
we're going to start decreasing a bit more so we're going to chain three and treble into that same stitch and then work two trebles into the next and two trebles into the next so we've worked three sets of two trebles and across the next two we're going to work our treble decrease so to work our decrease we just will go into the next space and work an incomplete treble yarn over go down to the next space work an incomplete treble yarn over and pull through so we've now decreased the two spaces down into one so then we work another two sets of two trebles into the following three spaces our next decrease so yarn over down into the next yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over down into the next space yarn over pull through and yarn over all through for our decrease so we're going to work all the way along doing two trebles into the next three spaces then we do our decrease two trebles of the next three spaces do then our decrease all the way around you'll be left with four and from there we work, we work our decrease and then we'll just do our two trebles two trebles two trebles into the last four for this for the last part because it doesn't quite work out exactly uh, for the three so I shall see you somewhere around about here on your last decrease so just finished my last decrease there and we've got one two three four spaces left for this last section so we're just going to work two trebles into these last four spaces for the, the end of this row last one there and to finish off this row we're just going to slip stitch to the top of our chain three so locate the top there of our chain three and slip stitch it close and that's completed our first row of decrease like so so that completes that row and you should now have 78 stitches all the way around so for the next section we're going to work start working on the ribbon section of the hat which is this section here and to create this lovely ribbon that has got a lovely stretch to it we're going to be working trebles and we're going to be working through the front post of the treble and the back post of the treble so let's begin so we're going to first of all do a round of trebles so we're just going to chain one this does not count as a stitch and we're going to insert our hook into the top of that same stitch and work a treble and for the rest of this round we're going to be working in the tops of the stitches we're not going to be working in the spaces anymore we're going to be working into the tops of every stitch and we're going to be working trebles into the top of every stitch so if you just want to insert your hook into the top of all your stitches all the way around like so and you should have 78 stitches to work around so if you want to continue around and I shall see you somewhere round about here so we can finish off this row so I've just got a few more trebles to do for this row so I'll just finish off with them and you should still have 78 stitches There we go, and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that treble now, not that first chain that we did, the top of that first treble. Slip stitch close. So now for the next row, we're going to be working through the front post and the back posts. So we're going to chain one, it doesn't count as a stitch, and we're going to work through this post here the post of this treble ignore that chain we're going to be working through both of them so we're just going to insert our hook from the front behind it 
and just work a treble stitch and into the next one we're going to yarn over and bring our hook from behind the post then yarn over pull through as normal and work treble so for the next one go through the front and the next one we're going from behind so I'll do that again and I shall do that re I shall do it really slow so yarn over go down and lift up that post yarn over and just pull through that post and then yarn over and for the next one we're going to go from behind so it's down from behind and then over and through like so yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so yet again from the front front post treble and from the back back post treble so we're going to work all the way around like this front post treble and then back post treble so if you work all the way around front post back post I shall see you somewhere round about here and I'll show you how to finish off this round right so I've got I've worked all the way around with front post and the back post so I've got one left to go and you should end be ending with a back post treble which I have there because there's our first one we started with and I've got one more to go I've just done a front post treble so this one will be the back post and you should be ending on a back post treble so yarn over from the back and that completes that and you're just going to locate the top of that first treble not that chain the treble which is there and slip stitch to close that round so we're going to be working four more rounds of the front post and back post treble to create that ribbon so we just need to chain one again and it doesn't count as a stitch throughout yarn over and we're going to go front post again so we're going to be following what we've done now from the, uh, the row below so front post now the next one is back post and it just gets easier now because you can see the posts easier so you're going to work all the way around working front post treble and back post treble for the next four rows so exactly the same all the way around come to the beginning of your you should always end on a back post treble and then slip stitch to the top of your first and then continue again around so we want to be doing five rows in total but four more rows from here and I shall see you when you're almost completing this extra fourth row and we'll finish off and we should then be able to complete our beret so I've just got a couple more to do and then we'll be finished so I've just got to do a front post treble and finish off with the back post treble and then just slip stitch to the top and just need to cut our yarn and pull through pass them off and there we have our very lovely beret. Obviously you need to stitch in the ends. I really love this colourway. It's absolutely gorgeous, really warm, rustic colours right up my street. So that's how you make the granny stitch beret. So just to give you a couple of quick measurements. This is for an adult head. Um, so the measurement across is roughly about 11 inches. Ten and a half to 11 inches. 
and this fits an adult size head perfectly. Well I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make the granny stitch beret. This is the one we've just completed in the tutorial fresh off our hook and this is using the um, King Cole Riot variegated yarn in the autumn shade. I love how it's turned out. Obviously I still need to sew in my ends but um, it's really a lovely yarn and this is the one that I did originally to match the uh, granny capelet I've made and this is another one I've made in um, a tweed knit yarn with like flex in it and so it's completely plain and that just gives that another different look so it just shows you by changing the yarns how different the berries can look um, I hope you like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button where you'll be then kept up to date with all my videos and tutorials that I bring out if you have any questions about this tutorial please message me in the box below there will be a full a full PDF written pattern for you to download as well in my Etsy store so if you do like to have a, a pattern to follow alongside you then you can then download that too as I say, I will be doing a tutorial on how to make the granny capelet and also there will be another tutorial on the granny uh, wrist warmers. So just stay tuned for those tutorials. They will be coming out shortly. And I'll just pop it on over my head just to give you an idea. I have got my hair up so there might be a little bit of a bump in my hat but gives you the idea. And... Hopefully that looks okay, I can't quite see myself, but hopefully I've got it on okay. So that is the crochet granny berry. But as I always say, and until the meantime, please take care and happy crochet. Mm -hmm.